In this video, I'd like to show how to set up a elliptical stair using Stair Designer 7. To set up an elliptical stair, the easiest way is to first do a setup in a CAD program, like here I'm using DraftSight, and draw the plan of the stair uh, using an ellipse that's been broken into arcs. Here we have an ellipse which has been broken into three arcs. So we have one arc here of 67 degrees, another arc here of 45 degrees, and a finishing arc here of 90 degrees. You can see that I've set up the dimensioning of the arc so that I've got the radius of the inner arc, the outer arc, with of course the width of the stair. And let's see how we go about setting this up in Stair Designer using the Stair Designer curved stair functions. So first of all, let's start off a new multi-flight stair and let's choose the multi-flight stair function where we can build the shape of the stair we want flight by flight. I'm gonna leave the floor height to 80. For the type of stair, we're gonna build a curved flight. So for the first flight, I'm gonna put in a curved flight. Now this curved flight, we can set up its dimensions here. Let's drag on to the screen dimensions here. So let's put up the first flight. Uh, the left radius, which is this side radius of the first flight, is going to be 121 centimeters, or let's put it as 1,210. The angle, let's, sit up, let's see what the angle is. The angle is going to be 67 degrees. So here we're going to put 67 degrees. And the right radius, let's see what the right radius is right radius is 32 centimeters or 320 millimeters so let's put the right radius 320 millimeters and the width of the stair is going to be so look at the width of the stair is 89 so 890 here we have the first section of the stair so let's set up the second section now let's add the next section so add a next flight uh, the same thing here this the flight type is going to be a curved flight having a look on our CAD drawing, we can see that the left radius is 3,800. So let's give the left radius 3,800. Uh, the radius angle is going to be 45 degrees here. So radius angle 45 degrees. And that's going to give us automatically, as the, the, the flight width is going to be automatically the same as the other one, we're going to automatically get the right sizes on the right radius and the width as where stair is parallel. Let's go to the last section now. The last section here is this section here. So I'm going to go to the stair designer, add a flight, add another curved flight. Let's open a bit the drawing. This time the left radius is going to be the same as the first one, which is one, two, one, zero, one, two, one, zero. The angle is going to be 90 degrees and the rest will be calculated automatically because we're, the width of the stair is maintained. So the stair is actually now set up. If I go click OK, Stair Designer will actually draw the stair. Here's the stair plan. Now, we can see that the Stair Designer has applied a winding coefficient that sort of spread out the winders. So if we look at the stair in 3D, we'll get this, this particular shape here. Let's look at the 3D and 2D at the same time. And let's say that we want our steps more to be sort of um, pointing towards the center of each arc. So I would take one or two of these steps and I would just click on them, make them straight steps. And like this, as I'm putting straight steps there, it will be recalculated. And let's click this one here too, straight steps. Like these are all straight steps approximately. Okay, so now the stair is sort of looking better in plan view and we can add parts to this stair as we need it. So if we want to put in, say, let's put some string boards on the stair, put string boards left and right. And here's our elliptical stair, which we can now start tweaking as necessary. Thank you for watching. I hope this has been interesting. Goodbye.